Hello everybody, this is Scarecrow, and we're back with Kodelka. I had to restart the game because apparently Start and Select is a soft reset, and that is what I used to open my menu for the emulator. So that actually, I went to save state and it reset because I hit Start and Select. So I changed my hotkey for that, so we should be safe on that now. I've got a little bit different gear at this point. Luckily, I wasn't very far into the game, so it didn't really matter too much. It does appear that the items are pretty random from fights. I got an elixir this time. A Roman Nuts has the property of an elixir. It restores all HP and MP. I, get, I got six of antidotes off of a fight. Like, it seems to be entirely uh, random what you get in battles. So that's kind of interesting. This will continue going through here. Okay, camera changed. Oh. Kodelka actually looks at this painting. You found a dirk hidden behind the picture frame. Okay. I will take a big knife like that. That sounds pretty awesome, actually. Uh, let's see here. I guess let's give it to Edward. Oh, yeah. Um, I should change their formation if I can. Let's see here. Is this how you... Okay, there we go. Wait. Actually, let's put Edward a little bit more forward. Yeah, there we go. So now, he'll be able to run up and hit them probably first turn. And Kodak will be in the back row to shoot or use magic if I want to. Now, let's take a look at the map. I'm kind of surprised there's no music or anything going. So it looks like this continues going on around, so I guess let's go down the stairs here. I would normally want to explore everything on a floor, but since they are separate buildings, it looks like. Let's go ahead and drop down a floor and see what's going on down here. Love finding a new knife, though. That is great. That means that if I need to, I can put Kodelka with a knife as well. Okay. Yes, let's check this room. There is an old couple in this room. Ogden and Bessie Hartman. Is there an old couple? I don't see anybody. Who say they are the caretakers of the Nemington Monastery. Nemington Monastery, okay. Forgot what the name of this place was, but yeah, it's some sort of abbey in Wales. Wales in the United Kingdom. Okay. Why didn't I see them in the room? ...that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes. I don't think I want to eat that food. Thanks. It smells great. I don't think I trust some, them. Dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not. Your potato soup is disgusting. Right for now. Thank you for your hospitality. British food don't know. No uh, British people don't know how to Please season their food. If there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. They're so friendly and nice, so really and don't care about the fact that we broke into their place. Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the 9th century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. I'm sorry, what? That was how the Nemerton Monastery <laughs> Excuse started. Excuse me? Or so I heard. Monsters. Monsters right? and evil yes. spirits. What about them? What is she doing? I don't like oh the way God. she's moving there. But we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You no way. Too. You mean... That monster's been around for a while? Well, I hope we've seen the monsters. I get in we're random fights very of often. For a number of years. But from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them <gasps> more and more every No way. Day. I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, I'll, f I'll choke Something a monster. I don't care. To you. We almost got killed back there. Well, not you almost the got killed. Kodelko was fine. The monsters might try and attack you again. 
I'll spare you some bullets. Oh, Fair thanks, old man. Great. Looking after others. I'm surprised you give me some bullets. So, I thought these guys were have you two been suspicious. Long? Yes, quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days... Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. Okay. Well, that was surprisingly nice. I thought that if I ran into somebody in this abbey that it would be uh, not a great situation. Huh. How many bullets did he give me? Okay, he gave me like 10 or 20. Probably 20. That's not bad. Okay, well, that was very nice of them. I wasn't really expecting that. I could have sworn that was going to be a bad situation. Usually is in these kinds of games. What is this place? Oh, some sort of now kitchen. This would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? Yeah, I need to eat a million times a day. For three days. Of course. Oh wow, okay. He hasn't eaten much, huh? You wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah. If it weren't poison, then it would have had some. Whoa, Cordelka! Pardon? It was poisoned? I said if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Man, she's so cool. Got it? Poisoned. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh no, Edward. Oh no. What's that? <laughs> I can tell you how you're going to feel. Oh, no, 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 no. Of your body. If you don't find an antidote, you'll definitely die. Man, Kodalka. So you were trying to kill us. <laughs> but why? Don't know. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> they must be hiding something. <laughs> Listen, Edward. Look, stop puking over now, here. But you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. <laughs> I think that is we'll such a wild situation. Kodelka sure. handles it so smoothly, too. Like, yeah, whatever, it was poisoned. I didn't touch it. Yeah, Edward's like, oh god, that sucks. Why did I eat all that food? Oh, Edward. You silly, silly man. What's this? Found a knife. Okay, yep, I'll take a knife. It's always good having extras of those. Anything back here? No? Okay, oh. Fighting time. What are we up against today? Furniture! Oh my god! Poltergeist activity, I see it in front of me. Get up there, Edward. Beat him up with that dirk. Show him how good that knife is! Oh, that is a good knife. <laughs> that killed that table in one. Hmm, okay, I don't have... Any magic points left, so let's go ahead and just shoot. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but not bad. Okay, go ahead and take a swing at him. Oh, 13 damage? That's cute. I have noticed that if you don't move, you do get your turn faster. So that's pretty cool. Wait. Oh, did it get- it must have gotten knocked back whenever it got shot. Thought I'd be able to swing at it from there. There we go. Easy enough. Okay, I think we got a better feel for the battle than we did in the last episode. Man, Edward got poisoned. That's crazy. Dried food one. Okay. That's probably a healing item. Anything else over here? Oh. Stuff over here. Anything on this table? It's hard to tell what's actually interactable. Oh, that definitely is. It's kind of glowing. We found cheese. I will take the cheese. Anything in this uh, 
shelf back here. Looks like there's nothing here. Nothing useful here. Okay, how about back here with the hanging stuff? Nope. Alright, what's in this room? Huh. Am I getting, <clears throat> am I getting further and further away? Okay, it looks like this is its own room. Thought that it might go into something else. Is this anything up here? Doesn't look like it. Some kind of well or something in the middle of the room. Oh! Another fight! What are we up against this time? Whoa! What are you guys? Some sort of ghosts? Okay. Let's take on the one on the right, so that the left one has a harder chance of reaching me. Wow, okay. <laughs> Instantly kill that ghost. Cool. Uh, fire the gun at the middle one. I guess maybe I should have shot the one on the left. <gasps> oh, he didn't like that. <gasps> oh, the cast some sort of spells. What are we getting here? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I'm glad that didn't hurt me. <laughs> that looked dangerous. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I'm gonna vibrate! Uh oh. I'm sorry, is that a meteor? <laughs> what? Okay, well that also did no damage, so... It looked- it looked fancy though. Oh, he- <laughs> he moved backwards! <laughs> He's like, uh oh. Oh, that messed up. I thought that was gonna kill her. Oh, no. Okay, there's ghost number two down. Okay, let's get Everett over here and slash this thing. So the leveling up system in this game is kind of interesting. Aside from just the levels up, we've got the... From, we've got the uh, skill system related to the different weapons and spells. Kind of feels like a Final Fantasy 2 system, or like a uh, Secret of Mana system, or Secret of Evermore, more likely, or m more like, I guess. Let's see how our stats are looking in that respect. I've only been able to cast Flare once, I think. She's getting okay with guns. I don't know uh, what actually is the threshold for a level. We're at 400 with guns there. How's Edward looking? the knives 440 okay I'm guessing maybe at a thousand that's when you level up the skill level on the weapon oh that's something what is this oh grab it where do I need to stand over here oh, okay you found panacea okay that's probably healing all status ailments or something like that take a look and see what it does Okay, yeah. Heals all status ailments. As you would expect. We found some cheese! Homemade hard cheese fermented in a pressurizer. Okay. What is this well? There's light coming from below. There must be a room underground. Oh, okay. So does that show up on my map? If there's a room underneath this one? Oh, it doesn't. Interesting. Okay. There's a staircase up on the first floor if we keep going forward. And that would let us probably get down to there. And maybe we can find our way over to this well room. Okay. It doesn't really look like there's much else in here. Wanted to take a quick look to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's up against me now? A couple cockroaches? Okay. I don't think we should have any trouble with that. I bet Kodelka is about out of ammo. So we'll have to get her some more ammo going. Oh, nice. One shot of the cockroach. Perfect. Yeah, can I actually... I can probably check that, right? To go to weapon. Yeah, she's got one bullet left. Okay, we'll shoot it and then reload. 
I'm assuming that Edward will probably be able to finish this thing off. Oh, yeah, missed. Okay, so yeah. And items, pistol rounds. Okay, there we go. I believe that should have reloaded me. Yeah, get him, Edward. Nice swing. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I kind of like this uh, battle system with the grid being able to move around in it. Ooh, leveled up. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I would like to give her a little bit more health, so let's go ahead and drop a point there. And we can go intelligence for damage. Well, maybe we want... Nope. Stop. I think we, we want piety because we want more magic points to cast more spells. Maybe we can put a couple in there so that she gets more casts out. I don't want to raise luck too, just to have a little bit of luck. Well, I think we definitely want intelligence for damage. Maybe we go... Yeah, I think we'll do a level up like that. We can get some more magic points to get more casts, because in order to raise the skill level, we have to use it more. Eye potion. And in order to use it more, I need more magic points. I need a bigger pool of them. And I would like her to be a caster, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, oh yeah, I was checking the item. Uh, high potion. So I guess it's... Yeah, like I said, it seems kind of random what kind of stuff you get, like... That looks like a bottle of wine. Oh, it is a bottle of wine. Okay. Medium-sized bottle of wine with healing herbs mixed in. Very nice. But yeah, that was a high potion instead of a regular potion, and I got two of them. So yeah, it, it seems fairly random what kind of items you get in battle, which is pretty interesting. I think it's kind of cool that you might just end up getting something awesome in a fight. Okay, so I guess that's all for this room. Take a look at the map again. See if there's anything I can figure out about the map. Okay, so the check marks mean I've been there. I think the X must indicate that like a story event happened. Because that's the room where I met the couple and the room where I started that have X's on them. Okay, so it looks like we can go over this way. There should be a room. Oh, yeah, there we go. What's through this door? Hmm. Oh, is that a hammer on the table? Looks like a sledgehammer. Some sort of potion or something. Listal. Okay, I think that Listal is the, like, uh, ether in this game. It restores magic points. You found a hammer. Yes, I would like the hammer. How much damage does the hammer do? Uh, nope. Uh, that button. There we go. Normal Dirk. Oh, all the stuff has elements, too. Earth hammer. Water knife. That's actually pretty interesting. I wonder how much that'll play into how we uh, get into buff fights here. Nope, what's this? Is that a crowbar? Oh, you found a pipe. Okay, sure. What element is the pipe? Is it a fire pipe? Vital pipe? What does vital mean? <laughs> okay. Interesting. The furnace won't open. Okay. Okay, so what's back in this room? Something's not right. Well, there's a guy on the ground. <laughs> there's a man collapsed on the ground. Looks like he's passed out. Okay. Well, I guess let's take a look at the room. Oh. As you try to move deeper into the herb garden, a giant plant attacks you. Oh. Oh, it brought the music back. Is this a boss fight? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Audrey, too, what are you doing here? Feed me. Feed me. Okay, well, um... Huh. 
I guess let's try throwing a spell at it. It seems like a plant would be weak to fire, right? And I guess I'll just have Edward run up with his pipe. Let's <laughs> start bashing that plant, Edward. Let's go. Ooh, 195. Okay. That's some pretty nice damage. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Uh oh. Is that poison? It looks like poison. It was poison. She took three damage when she cast the spell. Okay. I think I do have antidotes. Ooh, 58's not a lot of damage. Maybe we should be shooting instead. Alright, we'll move her off to the side. I think you do need line of sight to shoot. Ow! Okay, 51's not a bunch of damage, so I'm not too worried about that. We'll probably have Kodelka heal him next turn. But Edward's really putting out our damage here, so let's just go ahead and have him swing again. 200, that's pretty good. Okay, Kodelka, go ahead and throw a heal for our boy Edward there. Oh. Weird that you went for the poison attack on her again. Come on. There we go. All right, yeah, I think I think we got this in the bag. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with this. Let's see, I don't need her to do anything else. Take a swing. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna wait so that we have a better chance to... Oh, it does knock you back each time it does that. It makes sense that it would do that, though, because if you could just stand there and swing at it over and over again, you would take it down a lot faster. How about the shooting? How much does that do? 20? Okay. We're gonna have to switch you to a knife, girl. That ain't, that ain't cutting it. The knife will cut it, though. Literally, it will cut it. Alright, smack him. Yeah, how you like that? Oh, is he doing something? Whoa! Some sort of tornado. Okay. Where'd you get that kind of magic? Okay, let's see. Let's switch her weapon over to the Dirk. And then we'll start moving her up to go ahead and swing at him. I guess if I get right here, I'll be able to hit him next turn. Oh, she got to go again. Okay, cool. Yeah, stab him. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's still not great, though. Okay. Cordelka's gonna need to heal herself on her turn. Yeah, smack him. Oh! Hey, we got it! That wasn't too bad. Okay, another boss. I guess that's our first boss. Down, nice. Let's... Oh, Edward leveled up too. Nice, perfect. Let's put some points over here. You feel like we definitely want to want to improve those. It wouldn't be terrible to get him a little bit more magic, but I also think it's not really worth it because he starts so low to begin with. That we're kind of just working against ourselves going for that. Let's go for all the ones on the left, all the physical stats for him. He does not seem very inclined to. Oh, Icon's necklace. You learned the spell Geyser. Okay. Have to see what that spell does. Uh, back this way. The guy. Hello? See what's going on with this dude? Oh, oh my head. head. Oh, that's what he said. <laughs> what happened? You got messed up, old man. Audrey too started to eat That's you. Right. That 
monster. Who on earth are you two? Hey! We rescued you, and that's your way of saying thanks? <laughs> yeah, real nice, buddy. Little did I know that thieves these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. Oh, thieves. Oh, man, Edward. Edward, calm down, buddy. We ain't getting in a fight right now. My name is Kadalka, and this is Edward. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something, and it took me to the monastery. Little did I know that it... So you're a thief, too. I'm a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? Through the main gate, of course. The caretakers welcomed me with open arms. That husband and wife team? And the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny. I find it inappropriate for you to try to dupe an upstanding believer of the Christian faith. <laughs> what happened to you then? Of course not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Oh my god, so this guy's a priest. Me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. It wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. That was a problem that strength could solve. Look at this plinth. It's broken now, but holy water ran from it until recently. But I've become distracted. Almighty God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kudelka. <laughs> yeah, thank Just you. Just a minute. <laughs> uh, please let me join you. Under the protection of the Lord. It doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. I think I'll go with you. <laughs> Who said you could come along? They didn't even say anything. They're just staring at him. They're like, hmm. Hmm. What are you going to do, priest? <laughs> with the monster gone, the font has once again filled with holy water. You can save here. Oh. It's shining with a sacred light. It appears to have been purified by the holy water. Yes, I would like to save. Save. Okay, well, there we go. We got our first save point. And it looks like we have a full party now. Oh, yeah. I did realize that you can temporary save in some rooms. Apparently, if you... Uh, if the room has an S in front of it, it means you can temporary save there. And you use the cancel button when you first go into the room. And it will let you do a temporary save. That's pretty cool. Got anything back here where the plant was? No, but there was a specific step there that I had to step up, so that's a little strange. It makes it feel like there should be. It looks like there's a door back there, but it's all covered with vines. Let's take a look at James's stats. James O'Flaherty. Okay, yeah, that's about what I expected. High piety... Actually, surprisingly low mind and intelligence. He's not really a caster. But he has high piety. Strength. He's, he leans more physical. So we'll have to see how that all goes. So I think our offensive caster is going to have to be Kodalka. And then James can do maybe a little bit of healing and some fighting. Like a D and D priest, and then Edward is our main fighter. Is how this is gonna work out, I guess. Okay, well, cool. Let me take a look at our time. Oh, we're at a pretty good stopping point right there. Okay, cool. Well, we just got a new guy. We got a save point, and that's where we're gonna end for today. So, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Scarecrow. I'm enjoying this game so far. I think it's 
I think it's interesting how the items are pretty random that you'll get in battle, and I think that the uh, battle system itself is kind of interesting. I like the grid system moving around, deciding how we're going to approach the situation. The story is interesting so far, although we don't have much of it. So I guess we'll get to see more of what's actually going on with the storyline as we move along. But I do like the atmosphere quite a lot. I do want a little bit more music, but I guess we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. This has been Scarecrow. Bye-bye.